Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the Jelly Bean Paranoid Android ROM on your uh, Samsung Galaxy Nexus, a Sprint version of a Samsung Galaxy Nexus. So uh, let's go ahead and install it. First of all, you're going to need to make sure you have a custom recovery installed. I have Tor Recovery installed right now. Uh, once you do, go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Doing so will take you to this website right here. First of all, big shout out and thanks to JBob413 right here. You'll see JB Paranoid Android. Um, go ahead and scroll down, gives you some screenshots, images about the ROM. Um, now what we're gonna need to do is go ahead and click on a couple of links right here. You will see um, right here, click on these two links. Uh, the top one's the ROM, the bottom one is the G Apps add-on, the Google Apps add-on. So you're gonna need to download both of those zip files. So download both those zip files. Once downloaded, transfer both of them over to your device. So transfer on over to your internal storage of your Galaxy Nexus. Once transferred over, you can go back to your device. All right, and once we're back to our phone, we are going to need to get into our custom recovery so you can power off your device, or uh, if your ROM allows it, you can just hit reboot recovery if you're running a ROM that has that option. But uh, anyways, once powered off, go ahead and press and hold volume up, volume down, power button, all at the same time. Keep it held down. It will take you into the bootloader. Now press volume down twice. And then it says recovery mode, press the power button. And then what that's going to do is actually reboot us into our custom recovery. As I said, I have Twerp recovery. It should still work if you have Clockwork mod. I just prefer Twerp recovery on my Galaxy Nexus. There we go, team win. And once it loads on up, we are ready to go. Let's go ahead and install this ROM. So first step would be to make an Android backup. I highly recommend pressing that backup button and making an Android backup. Uh, just in case anything goes wrong, you can just restore that back up. Otherwise, what we're going to need to do is go ahead and uh, wipe data. So go ahead and go to wipe and do a factory reset. So press factory reset and swipe to wipe. It'll go ahead and wipe everything again, your contacts, your apps, all that stuff's going to be wiped. So make sure you back everything up that you do need um, once you flash this ROM. So once done, hit back. Now hit cache and wipe your cache. So go ahead and wipe that as well and hit back, and then Dalvik Cache, and wipe that as well. So once you've wiped all three of those, you're just about ready to go, hit back, and then go ahead and go to Install. So go ahead and go to Install, and find that ROM zip, that uh, PA, Toro Plus, whatever it says, zip file, and press it, and then go ahead and hit Swipe to Confirm to Flash. Uh, once you do that, It'll go ahead and install the ROM for you. So uh, let it install the ROM. It'll take a bit of time, so you're gonna need to make sure you're patient with it. Uh, again, it it's, could take a little while, so I'll be back once it's done. All right, and the ROM is done installing. You will see successful zip install complete. We're not done yet. Don't hit reboot system. You can go ahead and press the home button. It takes you back home. Now what you want to do is go to install and then find those G apps, uh, the gingerbread Google apps add-on that you downloaded and transferred over. So find that G apps add-on and hit swipe to confirm to flash. You're going to need to make sure you install those. Otherwise, you won't have things such as the Play Store, uh, Google Talk, all those good Google apps. You're not going to have them if you don't install this add-on. It's not going to take as long as the ROM install, but it'll take a bit of time so let those install all right and once it says successful what I want you to do is press this wipe cache Dalvik button so it'll go ahead and wipe your cache and your Dalvik cache uh, again if you go back just do it manually it doesn't matter just make sure you wipe your cache and your Dalvik cache once uh, the G apps add-on is done installing and then hit reboot system and there you have it. So go ahead and reboot your device and once booted up you will be running that paranoid Android ROM that jelly bean ROM Let's go ahead and check out the boot animation. Otherwise, I'm going to be doing a separate review video of this ROM, so you're going to want to check that out. I will link to that in the description of the video for you guys. But let's go ahead and see this boot animation. The first boot up will take a bit longer than usual, so you're going to need to make sure you're patient with it. Um, subsequent boot ups won't take nearly as long. So very, very awesome boot animation. I really like that. Uh, those falling jelly beans and Paranoid Android. So I really like that boot animation. Very cool. Very excited to check out this ROM. You're definitely going to want to check out the review video as this is one of the coolest ROMs around right now. So there you have it. Uh, let, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.